everyone, welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Luke Olvey here alongside Ridge Beam at uh, the Copperhead course at Innersbrook Ridge. A soft opening to what's going to be a very challenging day. It's an easy opening, but in saying that, if you get a little bit out of position here at the first par 5, 560 yards, uh, you're in a world of hurt. You have out-of-bounds left that sneaks into you a little bit quicker. Bunkers down the fairway that you want no part of. All in all, if you walk off of this hole with a five, you're really not disappointed. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. You've been here a long time, haven't you, today? You have way too much energy for me. Caffeine's just kicking in now. Oh, boy. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Going with a three-wood here. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Get excited. This could go in. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Second hole. Look. Coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Fuck, we're going to send it. That should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. Ah, oh, shit. And here we are with the third shot. Well played, mate. Par putt coming up here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Solid par putt, that. He's currently tied for sixth. The Copperhead course at Innersbrook can really bite you, especially if you're slightly wayward, and there's one of those holes right here at the third, Rich. Decisions to be made. The fairway narrows up should you take driver out. Also the water on the right. So players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. Oh, well struck. This drives heading for the fairway in my eyes. Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. We need this one to bounce right. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Hey, nice looking line. Different birdies, boy. Birdie. And this player is moving up on the Don't let this dang dog hole. in. Letting the dog in. <laughs> we find ourselves on a par three here. Hey, buddy. 
my dog Hank just hanging out. Going with the five iron here. Handy effort, that one. You get a share of second if you can make this putt. Oh, this looks pure. Well done. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Matt Kucha currently leading the field. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Oh, shit. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. And that shot back in the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. Looks to be going with the five iron. Left yourself an opportunity. Butting for birdie. Looking better. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. He's currently tied for first. The sixth hole at Innersbrook's Copperhead course, Rich. It's a challenging one, isn't it? If you find the fairway off the tee here, you are an amazing human being. The fairway tilts from right to left very significantly. Holding the fairway is almost impossible. Opting for the five iron. Ooh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Now, four under par. Currently tied for first place. Ooh, that almost went down. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole off here at the seventh. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. And John, what's this one looking like? This one's first cut and not too deep into that first cut either. This might not be all that bad. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, well, this one under. Shirt. Sitting at four under for the day in a share of the lead. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already because that one's beached. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. That's great, it just missed the hole. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. 
currently four under for the round. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. This one might roll into the rough. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. And here we are with the third shot. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take him to five under. And let's have one more look at that shot. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Should find the green here. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Birdie at the last. This for another. Tracking. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to six under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead. Luke, but can they maintain it? Let's find out. Motherfucker. John, you're down there. Can you get out of this predicament? No, I'm not Hi. seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Hmm. I might need to get a lesson of you. That was well played. From about 100 yards. Choosing the 9 iron here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Wow. That's classy. Good save from there. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Beautiful swing there. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Just a four footer remaining. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. A little four footer. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. They say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tee is yours. Going with the hybrid. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Air mailed the green with that approach. Oh, 
Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Now, four shots up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That dog will hunt. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. Well, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Just didn't drop just three feet to the cup and the putt drops and we're moving on i'm doing it i'm doing it slim and now that finds i'm doing it slim place. doing it slim i'm doing it slim check me out me out bo oh i always love these holes here we have a par three Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. This is from miles away. Shit. Okay, steady now. And that should secure the par. Well done. A well hold. Now an impressive nine under par. Well hold. That is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Second shot here on the 16th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And here we are with the third shot. That got caught up in a few of the branches. In the damn trees. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. Oh, I stay yes. par, dog. I stay par. Oh my! How about that for a par? Absolutely insane. I, I've never seen anything quite like this. Well, that's certainly worth another look. And main. I stay par. I stay par, boy. Ooh. Plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. Oh, what a shot by our leader. This putt is about eight feet. Putt is underway. Bit too heavy-handed there. 
And this puck coming up for his par. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. Leading by three strokes now. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the Snake Pit. And this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. Great looking shot this. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Oh, just missed. Well, it's been an impressive display today. Make this and you'll sign off on a 62. that puck drops to the bottom rich they are now the Valspar champion what a performance yeah what a performance what a win I mean just this player was just amazing all week long another dub Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Oh. Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. MOG Perfect We're at the Sport. Valero Texas Open. Today's coverage is about to kick off. Welcome to Texas. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and we're in your backyard. Well, very close to it anyway. San Antonio, Texas. And this golf course, TPC San Antonio, was designed by Greg Norman. And it's got plenty of challenges, hasn't it? It certainly does. I got to say, Greg Norman must have been in a slightly cranky mood when he designed this golf course because it is so difficult. There's not a lot of rough, but once you miss the fairways, there's all sorts of damage to be had. Anyone can remember Kevin Na in the 16? I do. I was playing right behind him. We thought we had lost him. We thought maybe the Coyotes came and dragged him away, but he finally came out after about 12 whacks, made a 16, and on he went. I have to say this is the most challenging golf course I've played on tour, especially when it gets windy. It's very tough. It's challenging. But when it doesn't blow, it can be a lot of fun. All in all, you better bring it. Either that or the golf course is going to get the best of you. But best of all, 
If you survive and you're the champion after 72 holes, they give you a nice pair of boots. Yeehaw, giddy up, y'all. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Starting the round at even par. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. That didn't look like their best swing to me. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Okay, let's head to the next. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. I had another viewer. This hole is a par three. Going with the five iron here. Mm, I don't think you planned for that. This would be a great up and down. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Oh, so close. And this one is for Bogey. Sitting at one over for the day. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Playing from around 190 yards out. Only a few shots off the pace. <laughs> Going with the hybrid. Oh, better be careful out there. It's danger. It's heading left, isn't it? From the sand, looking to get up and down. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh, what a stroke. And down she goes. Trailing by four strokes. Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich, and right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave, knock it on with the driver. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch, but I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? And this is sitting up pretty good in that first cut. I think uh, might not be too much trouble here. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Well done. Take the birdie. And that'll drop him down to even par now. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the sixth.
That's a good looking shot there. Outstanding approach shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. And he'll move into the top 10. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Just two shots back after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse i think they might be able to to deal with this with not too too much trouble and here we are with the third shot wind is blowing left to right gonna try and hold it against the wind that's not what they were looking for oh a little shorty baker on that action there Oh my god not a good lie fortunate to hit the pin and go in and it's time to recap that play he's currently just in second place This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Son of a bitch. Not really what they were hoping for there. Four in a row. They're on some sort of a roll. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Ouch, that hurts. Eight feet to the cup. I don't mind the look of this. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? One back, nine to go, Luke. This is getting interesting. We have a par four on this one. Bit disappointing, that one. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Going with the seven. Smart shot. Always back into the fairway as a safe play. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Pretty good shot there. Big power saver coming up for this fella. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And there it is. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Second shot here on the 11th.
lovely effort, that. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, this looks like about 29 feet. Get in the hole. And he holds it. What a putt. And that will take him to four under. Why not take another look at that effort? And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. This hole here is a par four. Not a bad line, this one. Around 110 yards to go. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, up by the green. I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And now four under for the tournament. Here we are in front of a par three. Looks like this one's going to the beach. Time to step into the bunker now. Close was that to going in the hole. Great shot. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, that's a great save. What an effort. And that is a nice up and down out of the greenside bunker for the par. We have a par five on this one. Didn't look like their best swing there. This lie's not great. Wonderfully played. And here we are with the third shot. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. That's a shame. Just leaking left, that one. All right, John. How's this putt looking? I'd say about 26 feet or so to the cup from here. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Five feet coming up to the cup. And in it goes for the par. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. We've arrived at a par four hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Setting up in the first cut. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. If that's the right pace. This should drop. And with that, now at five under with a few holes to play. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here.
What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. And this one is for his par. I like the look of this. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. As we get down the stretch here at TPC San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th's a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They can hold it from here. Oh, almost went in. Oh, good look at a birdie here. It's got a chance. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. Still in the lead now after that hole. Well, while the closing hole at TPC San Antonio can be reached in too rich, it's all set up by the tee shot. Tee shot must find the fairway. If not, you have water hazards left and bunkers right that will gobble up that second shot if you're slightly out of position. That's tiny. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And this putt for the tournament. It was on a good line. This putt is for a score of 65. That was a gallant attempt. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Well, any victory in the Lone Star State is one her joy. Congratulations to our Valero Texas Open winner. I got to say, this was a tough, hard-earned victory. The conditions out there this week were brutal all around. And they know it. And I got to say that I, I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful, sexy pair of boots they are. A little jealous, but, you know, I got a bunch of pair of boots. Too, so. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Legends Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and we're around the midway point of the season, Rich. Do you think the player has the FedEx Cup on their mind? Most definitely, they have to. The FedEx Cup Championship is the beginning of the end and they want to make sure not only are they that top 125, but they have the opportunity to advance to the 70th and 30th spot. And right now, they're playing well, so it'd be a shock if they didn't make it. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Time for the second shot into the first. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. This putt coming up is for birdie. Go on, get in the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Absolutely, you love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Opting for the five iron. Nicely done. 18 feet to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. Well hold. Let's move on. Currently one under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Well, as we approach the midway point of this season on 2K Sports PJ Tour coverage, Rich, really for a lot of players, they've been able to get after it early, get some wins, big FedEx Cup points. But for those who have struggled, what's in front of them now? Well, they've got to they, they've got to rethink what they're doing because whatever it is that they're trying to do isn't producing. So they're going to have to maybe go back to the drawing board a little bit, uh, take a look at how they're preparing for the tournament, maybe some of the decision making during the event, uh, look and see what stats are suffering, whether it's chipping, putting inside of 150 yards, whatever it is. Each player is unique. But in saying that, it's been a lot of fun to see some of the new time winners already this year, some of the veterans making a comeback of sorts, and a couple of Cinderella stories that nobody saw coming. I gotta say, this has provided a lot of interest. I, for one, have been a little surprised about some of the outcomes, but I gotta say, that's what you love about this game, is it? You love the surprises that golf delivers. Well, if you're on the outside looking in, it's time to put the foot down and make some more FedEx Cup points so you can make those playoffs. <laughs> Sitting at two under, time for fifth. Game with the nine iron, I think. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. It's got a chance. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. That's heading for the fairway. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And not a bad approach. Will be putty. This putt is for the lead.
Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And that makes him tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Ooh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. That's a great putt and an eagle as well. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And after that hole, you're now too clear of Bubba Watson. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This one from about 160 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Getting ready to play their third. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And that will take him to seven under. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. We love the birdies with big wings. Celebrate your eagle, but let's go and make a couple more. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? It's looking like a strong 24 feet from here. Big chance here. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Sitting at seven under, currently in top spot. Oh, well played. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. A good stroke. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to eight under. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. 
Pat's an awful error. Let's see what happens here from the pine straw. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Might get caught up in the brush here. And here we are with the third shot. Wow. They've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Teeing off here at the 11th. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. That was wonderfully done. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. He sits in first position. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it. Lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Quality shot, that one. We've left us off a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Lining up the birdie putt here. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Well, that's a handy shot. A seven footer right here. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Lining up from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Just didn't drop. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And that putt will drop. Well done. Now seven strokes up after that hole. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Going with the eight iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. Good shot there. Well, this be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Oh, that's frustrating. This putt of about seven feet to the hole. That starts off on a good line. 
That's well hold. A nice feeling <coughs> it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That one's right out of the top drawer. Time for the second shot at the 16th. This one headed left. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Choosing the 9 iron here. Oh, good shot there. Right inside the range. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. It's on a great line. The putt drops, and that's back to back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. Sitting at minus 14 now for the round. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Wow. There's a lot of power in that one. Bombed. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Ooh. This one's for Birdie. Well, Rich, as the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now rich and famous. I gotta say, that was an incredible statement by the great man and bestowed upon a great player. And this player will be thrilled to become rich and famous. Rich, this is something you can understand. This player now a major champion. Luke, life-changing indeed, I have to say. I'm thrilled for this player as I know what is in store for them. It's a life-changing moment. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. My boy. What up, buddy? Is it my subscriber, boy? Big dead. Don't hit, Billy. I'm just playing my PGA Tour, boy. It's free on PlayStation. They're gonna be spamming it. Can I hear you on here? in the building. 
Oh, shout out to Jet Boy for subscribing to the channel. Worm be gaming. Oh, yeah. Jed. UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Evergreen Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Opening Jeff hole. Watch this hole, son. 156 yards, par four for the back tees. And this is so cool. Got my swagger. Check my swag one. out on here, Dan. Four bunkers, all of them waiting to capture a wayward tee shot, but find the fairway, and you have just a beauty of a second shot. They'll tuck that pin over the left-hand side, bring my swag, all four of bunkers into play. All sorts of room out on the right to miss it. This hole is one of my favorite Jenny to play in the crowd. all year long on the PJ Tour. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. This shot... It's 330 yard drives, yards. just doing it. I'm gonna peel her back, put her in the air, let the wind carry her up there. Opting for the nine iron. I'm just yeah, too nice lit. Shot there. Gotta say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. Okay, so that finishes that hole. Oh, Jenny, she Always watching too? a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the tournament. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. That should find the cut stuff. Second shot on the second. I'm going to club up and get her there. The interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, shit in the damn bunker. And here we are with the third shot. That's well played, safely onto the putting surface. Good putters will make these, right on five feet. I like that kind of fight. That shows resilience. And that'll put a little pep in your step, up and down. I what do you think, moment. man? I need to get me a camera so you can see job. my face. At we're going to put it on here, nice and we're going to call it on the couch. I always like to see your name and moving And you're going to come over here and play this with me. Thing. Oh, we'll play something else. Freeze always offer up that hope Who knows of a what we'll play. One. And then, like, I could be pumping it up, like, when my brother gets off house arrest. I'll be like, yeah, my brother's coming, y'all. To on the couch. What do you think about that? Going with the hybrid. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Tough putt, man. Tough putt. Oh, oh so close. Put it's it in the hole, away from the hole. I am down big dick in the building. Gonna be my YouTube name, LOL. Oh, Lane Naver, boy. My dude. Oh. I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get Lane on the couch one day. Finds get over here, play some 2K, position. something. And moving down the leaderboard as well. I get, I'm going to get it on the couch and just, you know, ever, I'll just have somebody different over every time. That'd You've be cool. Arrived at a par four. Big dig in the building. We getting you some viewers. Hell yeah, get me some, boy. That's what we need. My chat's lit now. I got Lane and Jed on there. That should find the fairway. Come on, 350. Oh, no. 
Second shot here on the four. Oh, I fucked that one up. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, my. Oh, I'll just be hitting pins. That's some just good be, golf I'll just right be there. slapping pins. Putting for par. What you been doing, old lame boy? How you been? How's that youngin'? Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. I need some subscribers, too. Viewers, subscribers. It's what I need. What I need. Shout out to Jed. Shout out to Lane. This hole is Give a par five. Viewers and subscribers. Par five, boys. Should I take it off the cart path or what? This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here on the fifth. A hooker. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. This would be a good putt to hold. It'll help move you into the top ten. This is a good chance. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. Bubba Watson is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke advantage. And now team off it to on this hole, par boy. four hole. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. And our man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they might not be able to get all of this, but it is setting up pretty good in the first cut here, guys. Make this putt, and you'll move into second on the leaderboard. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Who else can y'all get on here? Tell somebody else come check me out. I don't know. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. I think I'm gonna try to hit this cart path right here. Oh no, oh fuck, four. Oh, come on, you're better than that. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Hitting it over here in the first place was just awful. I would blame his caddy. Playing Not a bad caddy. approach that one up onto the green. I am Couple the caddy. From there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Boy. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Looking really good, this one. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Step aside, everyone else. Now, number one. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Good looking shot this playing from around 160 yards playing the old game old. need you a camera to show your face while you stream i know it i know i need that but i ain't got it i don't know how to set that up man i need to research that i need like a like a like a guy in the closet over here that can damn do all Going that shit seven. for me No harm, no foul there with that shot. Trying to get to six under now with this putt. It was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. The leader now has... A How's my video quality advantage. and everything, man? How's the quality going here? Kind of and a delay a when you three. type and when I talk. Like, I can see when you type, but there's a little bit of delay. Like, I'm already waiting on the next hole. Like, 
I'm already at the next hole. But y'all still watching me putt that one. Oh shit, let's put let's get a hole in one on this bitch. Carry eight yards, put her in the wind, dog. Put her up, put her some little backspin on her. Just get her right in the right in the hole. I just get her back just a hair. Looks oh shit, I hooked it. Here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Outside chance here for the birdie. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes in the hole the whole way. And that will take him to six under. And I am playing card with card sack David and Bix Lung Lane. Oh, which card? Which one? Lovely I'll stream that. Our here, Rich. I'll stream Adam's all our voices on there and everything. He had no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down Listen. and keep going forward. Cannot oh, think oh. about that lead. Or Don't need to download pass. that. Uh, I think I'd get some likes on that. I'm not that what good at it. kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Here we are, Rich. A wonderful opportunity on the table. The chance to go back to back. Just how big would that be? Obviously massive, Downloaded but I'm Nelby. very impressed. They've put themselves in it a won't position be tomorrow for, to well, win I don't know, for the second quick week over here. in a row. Matter, you read funny as shit. Well, you're a ball striker. There's <laughs> no doubt about that. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Putting for birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. I'll go download it. And after that hole, I'll download it tonight. We'll hop on there tomorrow. Shots. I ain't even got the what's it called one? or nothing. Oh, well done. Time for the second shot at the eleventh. Put her in the air. Going with the nine iron, I think. That a boy. Good shot. This part is about 19 feet in distance. Download that shit, dog. We will play and stream tomorrow. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This one looking <laughs> really good. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm going to delete some shit. The whole way. And I get that, it. He'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. He's currently sitting in first place. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Well played, mate. Coming off a string of three birdies. Opting for the three wood. I shot that. That should find the surface. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. He's making this look easy. Keep surging ahead. Y'all make sure to subscribe. And Both y'all. Leading Bubba Watson by three. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? What well, fuck would I hit it over there? Not right at the hole. What the hell? I'll put that bitch in the air. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Needs this one to kick right. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Okay, steady now. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Now two oh, a hole 13, damn, one. I thought I was a lot quicker than this shit. Welcome to this hole, it's a par four. I'm, I'm driving attack it bitch. and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? 
I like to attack it. What do they like to do? You definitely want to see this hole. Great drive. Let's hope that makes it all the way to the surface. Oh, he sets himself up with an eagle opportunity. Putting for the eagle. Long daddy putt for the eagle. Oh, what a great stroke. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And it's worth taking another look at that one. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Wow, mate, that's some golf back there. An eagle. How good. Wow, what a shot. Well, this should find the short grass. And then playing this one from around 120 yards out. Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. John, have you got a read on this one? 37 feet at least to the cup from here, guys. Well, I like the look of this. Oh, fuck. Attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. Going with the five wood. This one headed left and not coming back. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Didn't that look good for a long time? This is a par putt. Oh, shit. Ah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Sitting at nine under, currently in the lead. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Wall hold. And it's time to recap that play. Leading by a couple after that hole. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. Absolutely tattooed that one. Tattooed it. That's what it said. I tattooed the ball. Time for the second shot on the 18. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. <gasps> all right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Looking great now. Yeah, a bit long on that one. And this putt is for a final score of 61. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Why not take another look at that effort?
And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Games order in a BGA tour. Shit. Tour champions, that's where I'm gonna go. What are you doing? I, Tommy, I am out of here. Download caught and we will stream tomorrow. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. All right, Jeff, boy, take it easy, man. World Shout World out for the subscribe. It's about to begin. Welcome to Quail Hollow Club. I'm Luke Elvey with my mate Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, this golf course really smacks you in the face straight out of the gates, doesn't it? 512 yards par four. Thank you very little. Dog leg to the right. Bunkers down the left-hand side. Only reserved for the long hitters, but the second shot to a very narrow green that sits down below the player. It's a very difficult opening hole. You make four here, you're pretty happy. Let's get down to the action.
Oh, a shank apotamus has appeared out of nowhere. Second shot here on the first. Well, this should affect the ball flight. That's straight into the trees. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the hybrid. Ah, this one's not going to get there. Coming up short. He has this putt to save his par. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Five feet coming up to the cup. This one started out on a good line. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Well, that's disappointing, Rich. Getting underway over par. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. This one from about 160 yards out. Looks to be going with the six iron. Just needs this one to kick right. A yeah, quality shot, that. 19 feet to the cup. I don't miss that shit. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you just... That can happen on these greens. They're tricky at times. Whew. Don't give him praise. Just look with admiration. That's serious talent. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. This one's dialed in. The putt goes in, and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. This hole here is a par four. Oh, great swing there. From around 170 yards here. Not bad. 15 feet to the cup. This one's looking good. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. Sitting at one over for the event. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Oh, good look at a birdie here. This one's tracking. And with that part hold, it's back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And that ensures that he's back to even par now. Teeing off here at the fifth. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Playing from around 150 yards here. Currently four shots off the pace. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. And this putt to move into the top 10. Oh, just missed. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. We find ourselves on a par three here.
This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And down it goes. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Ooh, right by the hole. Good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Nicely hold. And for par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This is a short par four, always a fun hole to play. Second shot here on the eighth. John, uh, how long's this part? It seems to be a fair way. I'd say it's about 25 feet to go from here. Oh, that's frustrating. And in it goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead.
We're at the final hole on the front nine. Wow. We let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. This shot from about 190 yards out. Five shots off the pace. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Ooh. Ah, that's some golf, particularly from that terrain. This would be a good putt to make. It'll move you inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. The back nine at Quail Hollow presents all sorts of challenges, Rich, and it opens up with a, a generous offering here at the 10th. The bunker down the left-hand side is only carried with the longest of tee shots. Leave it a little bit out to right. You're going to have some tree trouble on your second shot. This next one from the beach. Well, that was a good strike. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. That's not the outcome they were after. And coming up well short. And here we are with their four. Four shots behind our leader. This is their fifth shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Putting for bogey. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Get excited. This could go in. And that's for a bogey. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if you can bounce back. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. Sitting at plus one. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Ooh. Big putt for par coming up. And well hold. Let's move on. Some lovely momentum for this player. Moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 12. Now just one over par. Going with the pitching wedge here. We need this one to bounce right. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Great touch. Really nicely played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And that puddle drop. Well done. Now five strokes behind. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. for the five wood any bounce to the left here would be helpful 
Yeah, if that one's on the dance floor, you can two-putt that for sure. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. That's disappointing. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Well, when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they're in the deep rough here, um, but they ended up with a you know, pretty favorable lie, considering. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're gonna get from the golfing gods here. Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. That limits the damage. Currently at two over par. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Nicely done. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Playing their fourth shot. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Looks good off the blade. And as the putt drops, two over, heading down the stretch. As you find your way to the 16th hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players can carry the bunker down the right-hand side. Hit it out to the left, avoid that bunker, and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green in two. Luke, that's a stonking drive. Going with the five iron here. That's a good looking shot there. All well, these are bonuses. This putts from about 18 feet. It was on a good line. Just six feet between here and the hole. Good looking putt. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. You've got to hit a number of big boy shots here at Quail Hollow Club and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 317th. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 317th. Find the center of the green and you're a happy player.
Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Let's see if you can make this. You keep the par on the card. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, so close. Bogey putt coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. And JT is currently our leader. Well, if you think you've passed the worst of it after playing the 17th at Quail Hollow Club, think again. Welcome to the last. Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled many a player. Find the fairway and give yourself an opportunity to find the green in two. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, guys, this is looking like about 27 feet. Get in. And with that putt, that'll bring his tournament to a close. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And that'll do it for today. Great day all round, wouldn't you say, partner? Lovely being alongside you as well, Luke. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. But though. I ain't the best, but thanks for tuning in, Mr. Today's Levi. Of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. Shit. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Hi, Luke. Great to be here. Fantastic day of golf ahead of us. This is going to be a lot of fun. Where did that come from? That's not his style. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. Bit offline, that one. Uh, yeah, now into the lap of the golfing gods. Getting ready to play their third. Just missed the hole. Oh, absolutely flushed. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. This one's looking good. Yep, yeah, we'll take that.
starting the round at even par. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, shit. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. What a play from the Thanks rock. for tuning in, Was Mr. Goy. to get on the green and does one better. He's currently tied for 13. Teeing off here at the third hole. a little way would oh. definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one oh that's great it just missed the hole well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this yeah that's what i was and saying get him to uh, let's head to the next that's what i was saying get him to uh he finds himself in a share of 15th position Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. And then get, they got that sub, sub salad, they got that sub dressing right there in front of the thing. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. It looks like oil and vinegar. What's the name of it? Submarine. Yeah, that shit's good. Yeah, I want some of that. It's heading oh, to the I rough got some line. It's, uh... oh, this is not a good outcome. Listen, Buried in the deep stuff. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Like um, well, it's fair to say that that approach okay. didn't hit the mark. Hey, That's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? His they best, got medium a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. What's up to you, babe? Whatever you think would be How the best. How close was that to going down? Four feet to the cup. Just didn't drop. And that's a bogey, we'll unfortunately. The, we'll get the 12. Man, and that's with high, that now, yeah. back to level par. And get the get the get the provolone thick cut. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey, might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. No, I meant get the get the meat thin, the cheese thick. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. It's all right. We can just double it up. All right, well, Eight all days right. a week, that rhythm works. Huh? John, you're down there. How's this okay. ball lying? Right. This one's in the first cut. It's sitting up there pretty good, though, so right, they might be able to get a good uh, hack at it. Going with a three-wood here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Get in the hole. Oh, that's a ripper. And what a way to jump into the top 10. And let's have another look at that one. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage.
Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Second shot here on the sixth. Choosing the nine iron here. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for a putt to be hold here. 11 feet left to the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Now three strokes back after that hole. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the three wood. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Big power saver coming up for this fella. Steady now. This next part is for bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Man. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. No. That's not the shot they wanted. Well, the man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here. And they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Not sure how that putt came up shy. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. You've arrived at a par five. This one looks to be heading down the runway. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Going with the hybrid. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Ouch, that hurts. This putt coming up is for birdie. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And that will take him to two under. Rich, this player's just a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? Three strokes down with nine to go, Luke. They're going to have to come up with something sporty to get to the top of the leaderboard at day's end. A couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. The power play. you got to love it. Oh, how about that shot? 
taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. A spot in the top five on the line here. That one's come up short. That will drive you bats. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That should find the surface. This would be a great up and down. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Par putt coming up here. Okay, let's head to the next. Now four back after that hole. Here we have a par five. Well struck. Second shot here on the 12th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. An opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Not a bad line, this. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. Well, that was a strange one. Didn't see that happening. Bit way with there. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, guys, very deep in this rough. This is going to take some uh, this is going to take some precision engineering to get out of this one lining up from around 160 yards wind is blowing from right to left here wants to work it against the wind well they'd love a little bounce to the right here make sure you get both the line and the speed right here it's a long part short game has been especially sharp today Luke very impressive Always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. That's really not what we were looking for. This shot from the first cut of rough. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. They're not a bad shot, that one. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two-putt here is still good. A fair bit on the line here. A spot the top five. Wow, is that a rush of blood or something? 12 feet to the cup coming up. It's tracking. And down she goes. Currently at minus three for the event. And the player steps up to this short par four. They're needing to make something special happen, and I can't think of a better opportunity than now on this short par four. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. 
couldn't come at a more opportune time as well. Currently two back, make the eagle, tie for the lead. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Tracking. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. And Justin Thomas currently leads the field. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. And the effort, that one. Playing from 110 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Wonderfully played. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That's the right pace. This should drop. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And that will take him to five under. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. All right, John. How's this putt looking? This is at least a 40-footer. This is way out there, guys. Oh, just missed. Well, this is an important putt. Is it a must-make? It is a must-make, and I'm excited to see what they can produce. Full hold. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. This player getting ready to play their final hole, just a shot off the pace. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Yes, it is awful, awful, yucky, smelly, stinky, and there's a bunch of other words I could use, but it's just flat out nasty. Good luck. And here we are with the third shot. Wind back into their grill. They need to fight this one down. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. Yikes! Ha! Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. And with that, this player will win the event. They ended up tied for first, but after a count back, they come out on top. Congratulations. Tell you what, this could be life changing. I got to say, this was an impressive win all around. This player has some serious game. I cannot wait to see what's next. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
Rocco Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Hello, Luke, and hello, Rich. Hi to the folks at home. Happy to be down on the course here at the Detroit Golf Club. It's a gorgeous property, and we're just about ready to set this in motion. Let's see what goes down here today. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. This one has eyes for the hole. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. He's currently tied for fifth. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Here we are at the second tee. for the 9-iron. This one's going right at the pin here. A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here at the second. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. This one's online. A well holds. He'll take the birdie. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Here we are at the third. The tea is yours. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Outside chance here for the birdie. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Oh, that was a little bit too much power. Can make this one. It's for par. Oh, nice looking putt. Solid par putt, that. Got to say. Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently two under for the day. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Time for the second shot here at the four. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Getting ready to play their third. Just a stroke behind the leader. Not your best effort. Still a mid-range putt coming up. This putt to move into a tie for first. Gets it to go down. Wow, what a save. That a way to grind it out. Hit the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. And choosing the eight iron here. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This putt just five feet away from the hole. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole.
Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Nicely done. A good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. Well done. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 240 yards. What are you doing, Slam? Uh, what are you doing? Hell yeah. We, Seems uh, to have is it about over three up three. there? Well, that'll work. Up on the oh, dance really? floor. Could have been worse. Hell yeah. John, have you got a read on this one? This is about a 32 foot putt. Playing high. golf, PGA Tour. He's made it. The golf for game, I got it free. And that will move him to six under par. I'm at the house. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Uh, probably till I go to Bad Creek, which should be the fourth or the fifth. This November. Our current leader is up by three shots. What are you doing? Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Hell yeah, sit in your car. It's a long drive, ain't it? Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Time for That's the second at shot all. at the eighth. What is it, Bo? Up the birdie putt here. It's got a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to eight under. And now that finds him in first place. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That's heading for the fairway. Playing from around 110 yards out. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Go with a three wood here. Oh, this one, he should find the surface. Good shot, this. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, this looks pure. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And let's have one more look at that shot. Leading by six strokes after that one. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one.
Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. That's great momentum. Four birdies on the trot. Going with the eight iron here. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Good shot there. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Looking really good. Wow, that's misjudged. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. That's well hold. Still in the lead now after that hole. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, well played. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. That's tidy. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Ooh. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Nicely hold. And for par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 14. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, what happened there? And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. This one's for Birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. We have a par three on this one. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Very well played. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like a 24-foot putt. Oh, that's frustrating. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Good putt, that. Yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Now six shots in front after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. From around 140 yards here. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. 
He was on a good line. There's part of about six feet coming up. It's on a good line. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. He sits in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the family. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. They say drive for show, putt for dough, but that was plenty of show there. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, has been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Yes, fantastic stuff. Got to say, well done, birdie guaranteed. Thank you. Well done. Take the birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. Wow, what a shot. Birdie at the last. This for another. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Sometimes you've just got to stand up and applaud, and that's the occasion right now. This is as good as it gets. Give that player a high five. Unbelievable what kind of form they're in right now. It is absolutely amazing to watch. This is pure dominance. Pure dominance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Skipjack Open. It's time to get our coverage underway. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, let's get right into it. Take us through the opening hole of this course. City views are abundant at this opening hole. Tarwa Golf Club, par four, 492 yards. A very strong opening hole. Fairway bunkers down the right-hand side shouldn't come into play for the long hitters. However, it's a long second shot and very demanding. Water to the right, as you can see. Bunkers to the left, and anything long leaves a challenging third. All in all, one of the toughest opening holes these players will see. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. And he needs this to save par. Go on, get in the hole. And in it goes for the par. Starting the round at even par. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's not what they were looking for. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, well played. Judging it beautifully. And this one is for his par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Not much happening, moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. The dreaded shank. That sounds like a form of currency, doesn't it? It's not. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they're locked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Playing their fifth shot. Oh, so close. 
And it's just about three feet away. Nice stroke. Yeah, he'll take that. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Always exciting when you stand up on the tee on a short par four. into the water on that one getting ready to play their third he has this putt to save his par I don't mind the look of this well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Trailing by six shots after that hole. This hole is a par three. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. A chance to pipe one up the middle. Opting for the five iron. That should find the bunker. Oh, the old fried egg. What an awful lie that is. Any chance of getting out of this one? Well, they're in deep here, guys. Really nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. 19 feet to the hole. Just didn't drop. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. That's a bogey, but not a bad putt. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Time to tee off at the sixth. That should find the cut stuff. Looks like they've got the five wood. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> 